This is a place where nature reveals its enchanting secrets. Nestled in the heart of Denmark, this national park is a haven of pristine forests, tranquil lakes and quaint cottages. Today we are going to explore many of the winding trails in the land where fairy tales come to life and the magic of nature awaits. You look like Little Mermaid. <laughs> of course, first we need to get there, but that shouldn't be a problem here in Denmark. It's only a 45 minute train ride from Copenhagen. We already took one train, that one was a city train that stops everywhere and we need to change trains here to another regional train that will take us to the village where we want to start. The public transport here is very good as is usual in most European countries so the trains go very often and it's fast, reliable here. The train should have gone 10.40 but now it will go 10.41 <gasps> so Outrageous. it's great it's great that we have all the information yes we made it we were waiting for a train at the at the end of the platform it was all Peter's fault I told him that the train wouldn't stop there but he insisted be in the sun yeah I was like the train will be longer so we are okay here so 15 minutes 19 something like that okay so in 19 minutes we are there We made it to the town of Welze, or whatever it's pronounced, and we can start the hike. Yay! And it's so idyllic, right at the beginning. Geese making noises. They are geesing. Gagaing. Gagaing. <laughs> I like it. I like the weather today. We are in our shorts. Finally. Finally. And yeah, the sun is shining. And it looks promising. We are now entering the national park. The name is here. <laughs> I'm not able to pronounce that correctly, so sorry and we'll be continuing here on this idyllic path and yay it looks beautiful it's time to take off my shoes <laughs> i haven't been barefoot for some time because it was quite cold back at the country house and here the terrain looks inviting <laughs> so i decided at least for a bit i will go it's such a freeing feeling yeah guys i love this it's amazing being in such idyllic nature is always so great <laughs> Denmark is a very flat country, very much like the Netherlands. So when we saw this area on the map, it looked very hilly. And that's why we decided to come here to check it out. Yeah. And by hilly, I mean like 100 meters above sea level. This is hilly for Denmark. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably one of the highest points in the country. <laughs> no, it's not. But it's not very far. I think it's like 200 okay. meters above sea level. 200 meters yeah. above sea level. Wow. Yeah. So it's just to check it out. We have no idea what to expect, but it'll be probably a lot like this. Okay. <laughs> there are small rocks now, but I'm still going strong. So, yeah, this is a massage. It's pleasant. It should be healthy on these little mm -hmm. rocks. I'm happy for you. Yeah, I'm not afraid of anything. And I'm glad that you are happy for me. 
as you should be. Not views. I always like these stone walls. Yeah, it's pretty. It makes for a idyllic landscape. I don't know, it's like from a fairy tale. Yeah. Or from Ireland. <laughs> yes. Today, it is how I imagined it to be. That there are no like significant sites, but it's just this nice pretty landscape with forests and meadows and little paths in the greenery. It's so nice and it should be a relaxing day. Mm -hmm. here, just enjoying the nature. Yeah, I love hiking in nature with no aim. Yes, yes. We need such days as well. So there is no danger. There shouldn't be any big excitement. Just nice houses. Look at that house far in the distance. Yeah, and you can sit here and enjoy it. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know? Everything is prepared for relax and for the enjoyment of nature. Mm -hmm. oh. So enjoy. And it's so green everywhere, guys. <sighs> Finally, Some the season is here. Yes, and sometimes or often you don't need much to enjoy everything. Like, I'm so happy just to be here. <sighs> We are continuing our walk and we are getting more and more into the fairy tale. <laughs> Look, these houses are amazing. I'm expecting an old lady coming out of the house and offering us some old-fashioned lunch or something. <laughs> it's amazing, yeah, it's so cute here. Mm -hmm. I like it very much. Mm. Pretty cottage. Yay. But it's quite in contrast with that ugly tower. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Maybe some evil wizard lives in the tower. Saruman. Yes, I would expect someone like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, we found dinner. Peter loves mushrooms, so how many you would like to see? <laughs> Take ten, I would say. <laughs> I don't know these ones. These are very... like foreign to me. We don't have these ones in the Czech Republic. Or I don't know. It looks like that uh, man-made filler thingy that you put around windows or something. Yeah, you know, like foam, insulation. foam yeah. insulation, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it also looks it, tasty. It is soft, like eggy or something. Hmm. Wonders of nature. Yeah. So we are not taking them, okay? No dinner, no mushroomy yeah. dinner today. So I'll have to have again pastries from Lidl. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the internet later told us that the mushroom is called chicken of the woods and it is edible and tasty. So now we are of course curious and hopefully one day we'll get lucky again to stumble upon it. Maybe in forests back home, as it should grow there too. We found this beautiful quiet meadow. Sunny. It's windless here as well. So we decided to lie down for a bit and relax. Yeah. Because we exceptionally have time today. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there is no rush or anything. <laughs> no final destination that we have to see. So... What was that? Anyway. <laughs> so, we are going to enjoy this meadow and relax for a bit. Again, the cottages. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. The meadow had a disadvantage. There were a lot of ticks in the grass. So I was checking my t-shirt, I was lying on it. And there were many of them that I had to pick off. Yeah. Small ones, tiny ones, which are hard to see. And in our region, ticks uh, carry not only Lyme disease, which is I think worldwide, but there is also this other, even more serious uh, thing. Disease. Uh, disease called uh, tick board encephalitis. And if you catch it, it's not uh, curable and it can ruin your life forever. Yeah. So I'm glad we got uh, vaccinated because there is a vaccine. We actually finished the cycle of the vaccines, I think, this January. Mm -hmm. Right? So. Uh, yeah, now we are fully protected and we will have to go at another vaccine every three or five years to keep it going. Mm -hmm. But we are immune now, <laughs> so yeah. we don't have to worry as much. We still have to worry about Lyme disease and we still have to take the ticks off, but there's less pressure. Yeah, we read on the internet that this encephalitis appears only in Europe and not in West Europe. So Denmark was like right on the edge of the region where it appears. So Europe and then to Asia. And it's not in North America. So some of you guys are lucky that you don't have to worry about such things. Are you thinking about sitting down here? Yeah. Me too. I'm not sure if it's private. Yeah. But why would they have like four tables in a row? Maybe that one, the big one. Ah, okay. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, let's go there. Worst case scenario, they will kick us out. Maybe we should just sit on the table. It was a no from us for those tables, but we found something much better. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and we are going to feast here. With nice views. Yeah, the view is very beautiful. I see something healthy <laughs> for a change. In the supermarket, I was like, we eat terribly on vacation, so at least let's take these two bananas. <laughs> so we can feel good about ourselves. <laughs> There are still a lot of pastries. <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's the easiest to just buy pastries and they are good in Europe. So why not? But it's not healthy. Guys, this road dates from the Middle Ages and it was a private road only for the king. There were gates and guards and everything. And if a peasant was caught here, his horse was shot. Mm. How was it? A cart confiscated. <laughs> yeah, his horse would be shot there and then. And his cart and load seized 
and the peasant himself would be sentenced to hard labor in chains. That sounds quite difficult, working in chains. Yeah. Like it would be better without the chains. It wasn't easy in the Middle Ages. Yeah, so hopefully we won't be called. <laughs> no, today it's open to all peasants like us and I mean Tommy <laughs> and I always can go on this road because I am king. Here we go. It doesn't look like much of a road now. But it's so interesting that it's here since Middle Ages. Right? Right. There are a lot of lakes and swamps in this national park, so that makes it quite unique for me, at least, because we don't have anything like that in our area. Mm -hmm. And it's really pretty to look at. Yeah, and I'm sure there is a lot of endangered and protected wildlife. That's why they usually found national parks, right? <laughs> We've yeah. only seen one deer. Mm -hmm. But they say that there are foxes and badgers in this area, I think. I want to see a badger. Yeah, so maybe at night we stay long enough. Okay, we won't. Let me refresh my feet after a long day here in this beautiful lake. Wow! <laughs> it's quite cold, but not Canada cold. <laughs> I always remember Canada lakes there. It was always a shock. So this is better. The water is quite clear here. I can imagine myself jumping in. Uh -huh. Like the whole me. <laughs> like this? Should I? <laughs> or better not? I don't have my swimwear, so I don't know. There are people here. Not far from us, but here it's normal to go for a swim naked, so that would be okay. But I'm not sure. Okay guys, so five minutes later, here I am. I need to put a big blur on the whole me because of YouTube. But I'm going, so <laughs> wish me luck. The views here are breathtaking. <laughs> Guys, it's amazing. This is not Canada cold at all. And there were people walking by just as I was jumping into water. <laughs> so that motivated you to be faster. And the sun is quite strong. I can feel it even here in water. So yay. Nice. Oh, summer is here. Finally. I am very glad that I am swimming in a lake in Scandinavia. Uh -huh, yeah. Because I always wanted to do that. It sounds very legendary. It is, it is absolutely legendary. <laughs> totally. You look like Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I should swim to Copenhagen and come out of water there and then they would build a statue for me. I would replace the old Ariel or whoever she is. Mm -hmm. And tourists will admire me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> 
Okay, but I guess that was enough, so <laughs> it's time to go outside. I am great. And so you are the best. And what about you? I'm the worst. <laughs> are you going? No. <laughs> Why would I do that? Of course not. I'm barely not cold outside. <laughs> If someone had told me today in the morning that I would be swimming here in a lake, I would not have believed that at all. But here I am and I feel great. I feel so refreshed and I'm a bit cold, but once we are in the sun out of the forest, it will be... <laughs> We are back at the train station. We made it just in time. Yeah, some train and is coming. It looks like our train is coming. Can you see something? Anyway, we have to go. Yeah, bye. Hopefully you liked spending time in Denmark's nature with us. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And see you guys next time.